What if there was one action you could take today to improve your memory, decision making, and mental clarity, all without mental strain? Just imagine how this could help nurture better relationships and quality of life. My name is Dr. Andrew Miles, and I've learned from some of the top doctors on earth how to do just this. I've helped thousands of patients, and now students of my students are using this method successfully in over 20 countries to help their clients live happier lives. You may already feel by now that this is the type of content you need in your life. If so, then you'll want to like, subscribe, and share this with your friends. But first, how is this even possible? To answer this, let me start by telling you about Debbie. Like many of us, Debbie had an imperfectly normal life. Increasingly, she began to feel uneasy. Debbie was feeling colder and she ached with strange body pains. Her stomach felt off and her nose was getting congested. It was affecting her psychologically as well. She had trouble remembering things and felt like she was in a mental fog. She wanted to be alone all the time. At night, she was having dreams of violence, death, decay. In the space between sleep and wake, she could see apparitions on her wall, and she wondered if she was going crazy. She went to her doctor, who suggested that she had anxiety, and offered to write her a prescription. It was supposed to calm her down, but the distress it caused her stomach was unbearable. Her gut symptoms were getting worse, and so was her mental state. What were the doctors missing? Trillions of bacteria, viruses, and fungi make up your microbiomes. These tiny ecosystems influence your health, immune system, and hormone balance. Most people look at killing strategies when they should be looking at it more like cultivating a healthy garden. This is because self-cultivation begins with cultivating your microbiome gardens. This is also the key to optimizing your brain. According to researchers Sharon Hollis and Deborah Hodgson, microbial dysbiosis can induce psychopathology. For Debbie, the microbiota came out of balance and started to hijack her endocrine system via the gut-brain axis. This made her feel strange emotions and even contributed to her pain signaling. To get these restored, she went to an acupuncturist who understood how to identify imbalances in her respiratory gastrointestinal, and urogenital microbiomes. Rather than a strategy of attacking parasites, they taught her to cultivate a garden within. Over the next two weeks, she began to feel herself getting stronger. She was learning breathing exercises, and she could use them to make her stomach happy and warm herself up. She kept up with her appointments and did her exercises a few times a day. She was feeling great, getting her house in order, throwing out old clothes that smelled musty and moldy. She was eating foods which warmed her digestion rather than making her feel cold. But as her health improved, she began to realize that she'd been more introverted since she got sick, and she wondered whether she wasn't afraid of catching something. Somehow, the sickness itself was affecting her social life and her relationships. In a 2013 article, in the frontiers of integrative neuroscience, there's an article called The Microbia Gut Brain Axis Neurobehavioral Correlates Health and Sociality. This is by Augusto Montiel Castro and Rina Gonzalez Cervantes et Alia. They said it's recently become evident that such microbiota, specifically within the gut, can greatly influence many psychological parameters, including cognitive functions such as learning memory, and decision-making processes. They go on to say, it is horizontally transferred among relatives, mates, or close community. Microbiota don't simply exist within you. They also surround you in a microbial cloud. They interact with your friends and family. You're connected to the environment inside of you as well as the environment which surrounds you. It turns out that introverted people actually have different microbial profiles than extroverted people and may be avoiding company in order to avoid becoming ill. She noticed that whenever she was around her husband or mother-in-law, 
that her symptoms acted up. She felt terrible and didn't know how to bring it up. How can you tell someone you love that they may be making you sick? She was torn, but decided to use an indirect approach. When her mother-in-law complained of some symptoms, Debbie suggested her acupuncturist. When her husband wanted better mental optimization for his business, she also suggested the acupuncturist. And as her family became healthier, she found it was easier to stay healthier herself. Together, they learned how to cultivate themselves to optimize their energy levels, emotions, and mental clarity. And this had resonant effects on their fitness, their relationship, and helped them to excel at work. But how is it that plant-based medicine can have such wide-ranging, yet deep effects on the body? In an article titled, Understanding the Molecular Mechanisms of the Interplay Between Herbal Medicines and Gut Microbiota, Jin Xu and Hu Biao said, there's ever-increasing evidence that gut microbiota plays a crucial role in herbal medical therapy by complicated interplay with herbal medical components, improving the composition of gut microbiota, consequently ameliorating its dysfunction as well as associated pathological conditions, and gut microbiota mediating the interactions between the chemicals in herbal medicines. The herbal medicines are not only having direct chemical effects, they're also having indirect actions to modulate the body through cultivating the microbiomes. Can acupuncture also play a role in cultivating your microbiome, or is it simply a relaxing way of getting stuck with pins? In the Oxford Academic Journal of Inflammatory Bowel Disease, Gang Ching Song and Claudio Fiocchi, MDs, at Alia State, Acupuncture has demonstrated beneficial roles in the regulation of gut dysbiosis, intestinal barrier dysfunction, visceral hypersensitivity, gut motor function, depression slash anxiety, and pain. This explains how the acupuncture and herbs were so effective in calming her symptoms. It also gives us a clear mechanism of action as to how Debbie and her family were able to improve their memory, decision-making, and mental clarity all without mental strain. Who you are and how you feel are intimately linked to your gut microbiome, your respiratory microbiome, and your urogenital microbiome. Chinese medicine doctors have actively worked to balance these microbiomes for thousands of years and have developed it into a highly sophisticated art and science. They discovered that the key to developing a more harmonious circle of friends, family, and culture at large was to start with your microbiomes and cultivate an internal garden. To live your best life, you'll want to make sure that your microbiomes are in an optimum state. Click the like button, share with someone you care about, and subscribe. Book an appointment with an acupuncturist and begin cultivating your internal garden today.